And we're going to finish up uh, 3.3, I believe it on, we're on. And we're going to talk about enzyme inhibitors. And you know, when you look at we already know what an enzyme is. We've been talking about it for the last week or so. Um, we also, we need to look at what does the word inhibitor mean. In this case, you know, an inhibitor is something that stops. So like if a door is closing and you stop it, you're inhibiting the door from uh, stopping. And you know, we, we've seen pictures like this. Here's your enzyme and it's showing the reaction with the substrate and how it goes through the uh, chemical reaction, breaks up into products. Uh, I want to point to the word ligand. Now I've, I've held off, not giving you too many big words at once, but I want you to think of a ligand uh, as a substrate, that, and that's what it is. All substrates are classified as ligands. That's how you say the name. So all substrates, no matter what, are considered ligands. It's like uh, all, all cars are vehicles or motor vehicles. You could say it in that sense, but a ligand, and I'm not gonna write it down, a, a ligand is just uh, one molecule that's able to fit and combine with another molecule at, a, at an attachment site to cause a reaction. And so when you uh, hear ligand, don't let it fool you. It's just talking about a substrate. Now, if you look on the left here, there's two types of inhibition. One is competitive inhibition and one is non-competitive. We don't really necessarily need to go over what non-competitive and competitive, you know, society, we, we know pretty much what that is, but this is a, competing to stop, and this one is not competing uh, to stop whatever chemical reaction we're looking at. So if we look at competitive. Now what I want you to notice is that the two ligands, the two substrates are different. This is the one that should probably go there, and uh, this one is not. And usually this is kind of a reversible process, you know, over time, but you'll notice that it has that same shape, and both are able to fit into this active site of this particular enzyme. And when this happens, obviously this ligand here, that's supposed, that substrate that's supposed to go here, it can't bind and that chemical reaction won't take place. So whatever this is, this will slow down or stop. And uh, you know, an example of this would be uh, arsenic poisoning. Arsenic uh, will, will basically fit in uh, to the active site of this pyruvate dehydrogenase and all, all, basically all this does, now both of them that we're gonna talk about, both of these enzymes help our bodies make ATP for energy. So if this takes place, then this pyruvate dehydrogenase then becomes inactive. And so ATP formation stops. And if that stops for any length of time or altogether, it's death. Okay? Now for the next one, it says non-competitive inhibitor or inhibition. And so if we're using the same, here's the substrate that normally should go in there. And uh, this thing here is what we're gonna be talking about. This is the non-competitive inhibitor. Some enzymes have extra sites on the attachment or uh, on their outsides where other things can fit in. And you gotta remember, protein, uh, if you change their shape, they lose their function as well. And so what happens is when this uh, inhibitor hooks in to this enzyme here, it's gonna force it to change its shape and then the, the substrate that normally would go there doesn't fit anymore, so that's gonna stop any kind of chemical reaction that is. Now, what I want you to know, uh, this site right here where that inhibitor uh, attaches, that's called an allosteric site. Allosteric, allo means different, basically a different site. So allosteric uh, site right there. Um, and I didn't know this till a few years ago, but ATP, while our bodies go out of it, like that's the whole purpose of eating food and this is the end product of our energy creation. Sometimes if there's too much ATP, it will itself, the molecule itself will become a non-competitive in inhibitor. You know, non-competitive, you think, th they're not competing for the same site like we saw here. This is a competitive situation, but this is a non-competitive, but it still have the same effect because it's changing the shape of the enzyme. And so what ATP does, ATP will fit in the allosteric site of phosphofructokinase, and 
that happens, and this is another enzyme that helps us make ATP, it will slow the AP, ATP function or, or creation down until it's down to a level that, that will stop its binding.